Hey, welcome everybody, Rubicon's Basement. Steve will be over in a little bit. I made some adjustments to the last dwarf list that I played. And I will start with the top of my list, which is my Dwarf Lord. My Dwarf Lord is a converted model here. He is on shield bearers. I'm going to try to keep this real steady, but I put my elbow on the table. There we go. Dwarf Lord on shield bearers. He has two times the rune of might. He has a rune of fortitude times two and a rune of luck. So he's pretty good. Toughness six. I believe he does die three wounds per hit. Uh, double strength versus toughness five. I have five rangers, which are over here. I have two units of 14 Quarrelers, which are, gives you a sneak peek of what's coming, what's to come. There's one unit of 14, and there's another unit of 14. So I dropped the whole unit, but increased the size of these a little bit. And they have um, heavy armor and shield, but hand weapon. I, didn't, I did not give them the great weapon anymore. Then I have 16 Thunderers. Boy, I hate when people do this and I'm doing it. I'm in a rush. Steve's coming over. Uh, 16 Thunderers. Again, I dropped an extra unit of them just so that I could have one unit of 16. And they also have just heavy armor and shorts, heavy, heavy armor and shield, and a hand weapon. Full command, though. Then I have my organ gun. I'll pan out. Man, I should have put these in order. I'm sorry, people. Organ gun, and that will be entrenched, so that's my little barricade thing for the organ gun. And the crew sits in there. He will be accompanied by the master engineer, which is right there. Character model from years gone past, Burlock Gerlinson. I don't know what his model looks like now, but he's happy to be used. He has a rune of parrying, a rune of striking, and a rune of speed. Oops, I'm off of him. God bless him. There he is. Oh, if you stayed with me, I feel like grief. If you stayed with me this long, stay with me. So then I have a cannon. There he is. A rune of forging allows me to reroll that misfire. I have four gyrocopters, two with Vanguard. Now, actually, I bought these for 20 bucks a model a long time ago, hoping that I would be able to use six. So I bought six of these guys, and then I have two of the. I'll do an army on display thing, but. I'm pretty happy with the way they came out. Oh, Hobby Kitty. Yep, that's not a black screen. That's... I can't ask. Let's see. We do have ten miners. And this time, we took out the Longbeards, and we added 14 Hammerers. They do, and I'm sure I'm going to put my Dwarf Lord in there. They do deal out the damage. They have the Rune of Slowness and the Rune of Sanctuary. I have a Thane BSB, and he has a Rune of Slowness. Where is he at? Rune of Slow. I know he's the Rune Lord, but he's holding the scepter real high, so he's going to be my BSB. And then last, I have two bolt throwers. Hobby Kitty's in the way, sorry. Two bolt throwers. One has a Rune of Penetrating and a Rune of Accuracy, and the other one just has Rune of Accuracy. So that's the list, if you stuck with me. I'll do a five minute rundown. Um, some changes from before. I also painted up a whole bunch of Slayer Pirates I think I'm going to use as my Iron Drakes. So maybe I'll preview those next. We'll see when Steve comes, how it's going to happen, how it's going to run down. I, again, we play. I don't know what army he's bringing. We use five pieces of terrain. High roll gets to choose first. Uh, and we play with that they can't be within 12 inches of each other. Um, just little house rules because it, it kind of re resembled the Buckeye battle that I went to because uh, that's how their terrain was roughly set up. So anyways, all right guys, thanks for watching, and we'll get back to you as soon as I can. Action. Right here, Iron Guts, 11 of them, my Tyrant guy. Behind them are some Bulls, 11 of them. Uh, Bruiser, he's a battle standard, but he doesn't get a standard. Like that. He gets <laughs> it. Uh, another unit of 11 Bulls with a Butcher, a Gorger, and four Man-Eaters. Oh, and there's another Butcher I didn't make it. So you get two level twos, right? Two level twos. That's about it. Just run up and 
that stuff. Steve said this is a combat heavy army and hand to hand combat heavy army, and that's saying a lot because most of his armies already are. So if he's made this one as a combat heavy army, it could be in trouble. What do your man eaters have? They have scout and immune psychology. Oh, pistols or hand weapon, extra hand weapon? I remember actually. Okay. They're fighting with their fingertips. That's all they need. <laughs> That's all they need. And the unit behind, extra hand weapon? Everybody has, like, these two units have uh, iron fists and... Right oh, okay. Weapon. So they get the five up parry. Yeah. And these guys are all, obviously all... Um, great weapon. Great weapon guys. And you have your tyrant, he's a lord. Yes. And you have a hero BSB. And then you have two level twos. Both of Maw. Yes. All right. Well, although it took me five minutes to go over my arm, <laughs> Steve's done in five minutes, what it, or in one minute and a half, what I did in five. So. Just like the Ogre Army, straight into the point. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll get back, we'll set up the table, and check you guys later. Okay, so Steve's man eaters up here. They scouted first. My rangers scouted behind them. He's got his level two with the bulls there, and his lord with the Iron Guts there and his BSB and with the Bulls there. Gorger has not come on. He's got a level 2 sitting behind back there. And over on my side, we decided to put... A, those miners aren't in yet. Gyrocopter there. We got the hammerers there. Another gyrocopter. Got the 14 corollers. 14 corollers. We got the organ gun. We got the bolt thrower. We got another organ gun. Another bolt thrower. 14 Thunderers, and over here we have the Gyrocopter that can Vanguard, but can't because I don't want to move them back, and I can't move them forward because I'll be within 12, and this one Vanguarded up. Just out of 12 of there, just out of 12 of there, but leaving him a tasty possible charge into there, if he wins first turn, but we'll see. We'll get back after first turn. Yeah, so on Steve won first turn, and the Scouting man eaters moved up an inch to there. Everything else came marching up as fast as possible. These guys now they have the movement banner on them. So yeah. They moved up a little bit farther. Yep. And yeah, everyone moved up. So magic time. All right. So Steve got some work done in the magic phase. He got uh, chose not to try to dispel the plus one toughness on his main unit because I was going to try to dispel the four up regen because I failed to put a cheeky little burning thing on one of my bolt throwers. But, um, yeah, he's six dice, didn't got double six, got the regen. Each wizard took a wound, but they both have regen, so he saved them both. So, no shooting in his army, and it's off to uh, Rubicon's turn one. Okay, so in movement, this gyrocopter flew over. He's going to drop a bomb and use the flame template there. Didn't move, didn't move, didn't move. This gyrocopter came up, dropped a little bomb on him in the shooting phase, and we're going to flame template him, redirect those guys. These gyrocopters flew over. They're going to just <laughs> let that tyrant swat them out of the sky, so hold that unit up as long as possible. Um, I did not charge. I needed boxcars to get into there, so I just moved and marched them up 12 inches as fast as they could go. And there is no magic, so we're on to shooting. A delicious shooting page. <laughs> All right, so success over here between the rangers. Well, I don't think the rangers did anything, but we dropped the bomb. We did the flame template. We killed two ogres, but they're immune to psychology. Over here, Thunder is shot into here. I don't think I did anything, right? Kill on this one? Yeah. No. And then over here, I uh, did five wounds, but that was between dropping the bomb, flame template, organ gun, two bolt throwers, cannon that didn't hit, and 28 corollers. Did five wounds to <laughs> Awesome. And, uh, okay, Steve's turn two. All right, man eaters passed their march move and moved up. They marched up, inevitable charge of the gyrocopter, and moved up, and on to magic. Oh, and the gorger came on. So Steve uh, rolled three for the magic phase and used his power stone to still throw five dice at bubble regen and got 18, not the 20, so we survived that. Movement, magic, shooting, no shooting, so we go straight to hand-to-hand. -to -hand. All right, so yeah, he uh, evaporated the gyrocopter, and here I am thinking I'm doing something clever, like, hey, he'll only roll a 7 maximum, so he won't be able to go 14 in March, but he rolls an 11 on the overrun after killing the gyrocopter, so yeah, check that out. That's 
delicious. <laughs> My turn. All right, so we had some crazy stuff happen in here. Miners did come up. I shot all these thunderers at his general's unit. Didn't <laughs> didn't do much. Shot bolt throwers at his unit. Didn't do much. Shot cannon at his unit. He had the iron curse icon. Oh no, I rolled a one to wound, so yeah. didn't even have to use the iron curse icon. Uh, ultimately, what ended up happening was the organ. Or first, we dropped uh, two bombs on him. I rolled a ten and a six for the strength three against his toughness four, and did a fair amount of wounds there. And then ultimately, the organ gun opened up, rolled sixteen for shots, and caused just enough for a panic test. He has a leadership nine twice. You rolled a. 12, 11 and a 11 10? And a 10. 11 and a 10, and they fled. And then we had a moment of panic. And then whoever wrote in that said it was a gentlemanly game she did not see me. <laughs> Acted like a fool when I'm like, yes, this general's unit broke and ran. Oh, God. But then I thought, wait a minute, they have to flee from the nearest enemy unit, which is this gyrocopter. So then we thought, well, that's not good because he's going to be back here and then he's going to rally. But then we looked it up and saw that it's uh, brought about by heavy casualties. It's a uh, the unit that caused the most casualties that phase so we did it right and they rolled a five to survive their uh their panic test for being fled through so we're on to steve's turn three i failed the charge here didn't yeah i don't know if i recorded that or not but all right steve's turn three. Oh, and then we shot all these corollers at that unit and killed did five wounds yeah. total yeah all right i brought this i can't remember what i recorded but i moved the engineer back to receive this charge from the gorger so we'll see what happens with that. And on to Steve's turn three. All right, Steve charged the gyrocopter, and I, I put the gyrocopter in such a way that he was in my front arc, so he had to swing around, because it's gamey. And then these guys charged the flank, passed my uh, fear test. Gorger, I moved my engineer back a little bit, so he passed his terror test, so he's fighting the engineer now. And these guys attempted to charge, failed it all on their own, but I did have the die six subtraction banner with the uh, BSB over here. So we're there. Ooh, magic. Shh. Magic. Oh, man. All right, so in magic, Steve cast the big maw, placed it right there, drifted off onto the cannon, but at strengths, at, we automatically fail my initiative test because it's a war machine, and um, strength seven versus toughness seven, and he didn't wound it, so lucked out there. And that's it for magic. Uh, no shooting, so we're in right into hand to hand, of which we have two. All right, so these guys came crashing in, did some impact hits, did some kills, did some stomps, and wound up killing six of my guys here, and passed my panic test. Then these freaking guys, I threw the gyrocopter up there, and I'm like, okay, don't roll high again, and he rolls 11 for the overrun again and gets into the ogre gun, anyways. And this thing did one wound to me and then stomped my engineer to death. So that was no good. So he's into the organ gun on the overrun. And uh, that's it. Out of my turn. Yay. <laughs> so over here, we charge the miners in. We charge the gyrocopter in for the rear. He's on his overrun here on my turn. He'll probably kill this organ gun. And then, uh, yeah. Move the BSB out because on his turn will be next. I'm thinking he's going to charge the bolt thrower and then he'll overrun again and get into them. Yeah, I charge the miner or the hammerers into that unit there and we're hoping for some good stuff. It's a lot of attacks though, man. I, I think I'm going to lose that. I lost the game right there. I did charge the gyrocopter into the flank of his level 2, so I got a charge and a flank. So hopefully I can win there. And uh, that's it. We'll do some shooting. All right, so the bolt thrower did a little bit of work. The cannon cannon killed two, and the bolt thrower killed one. Steve passed his panic test. We magic shooting. We're going to do hand-to-hand. -hand. We're going to start over here. All right, so over here, the man-eater, not man-eater, the gorger, mm -hmm. and the unit uh, evaporated the organ gun. They passed their panic tests, both bolt throwers, and he reformed the gorger facing this way. These guys stayed that way. Over here, yeah, I got it. That was so stupid of me. I used to a cha issue a challenge with my lord and, um, you know, like the cowardly ogre player, this team. <laughs> he accepted with his unit champion, and I just did one wound to the unit champion. And uh, what I should have done is, is not issue a challenge at all and let him. And if he didn't, neither one of us did, my lord could have attacked his BSB. That was dumb. And anyway, so he, look at all these guys he killed. How many wounds did I? I only did like two wounds to you? One to the. One to him, one to the champion. 
the one regular yeah, one? I think one. Oh, he, he killed one guy. So he did three. Okay, three wounds. Uh, it, it's ridiculous, and he just killed three, six, ten of my guys. I passed my stubborn test, but we're going into his turn. And then over here, uh, he did one wound to me. I had a charge and a flank. He failed your leadership once, yeah. and then got the reroll. And then he passed his reroll to reform too. So we are on to top of four. The Rangers are just chilling back here. <laughs> so when you think of gamey things, <laughs> I fled, fled with my, uh, fled this general's charge with my thunderers, and of course they went through the miners, and of course the miners failed their leadership nine to uh, to not panic, and then of course ran nine. Eight would have kept them on the table, but they ran nine and went off the board. And he rolled a seven to catch the fleeing thunderer. So he gobbled up the unit of ten miners and the unit of fourteen thunderers. And he caught a fleeing unit, so he gets to reform. And the Gorger makes it in his base move. These guys get an overcharge, of course. So these guys here, what started off as pretty awesome for me. Looks like the only ones that are going to live are the Rangers way in the back. So we're on to Steve's magic phase movement, right? You did all your movement, and we're into magic. All right, so Steve got the plus one toughness off on these guys, so now my general will now have, what, double strength? I'll be strength eight. Strength eight against his champion. wah -ha. Like it's going to matter. Okay, movement magic, shoot no shooting. We're straight in the hand to hand. Okay, so, yep. Gorger killed that. These guys killed the bolt thrower. Overran. And he killed all my guys, except for... Uh, my general, I lost by two and made it on Snake Eyes, even though the BSB is right there, so that would have been cool. And I did a wound, and how'd that work out? No, neither one of us did wounds to each other. So, yeah, in the gyrocopter battle. So we just kind of grind there. And uh, I think that's it. All right, bottom of four. All right, so we moved the gyrocopter over here. Rangers stayed where they were, back in the corner. I made a charge with the Thane BSB, no magic weapons, into this flank here, and these guys charged in, and the general's on his own, and we're fighting that out. Bottom of four. All right, so we have a YouTube question about reforming this ogre unit. Steve won, and every time I watch a battle report, it seems like this unit reforms and just slides down with face the quarrelers, but after reading it, it seems like you can increase the unit's frontage but the unit has to stay the same. Like, he could turn them. And I, I think the way that we're going to play it, I think we should just play that you can slide them down. Because we'll just say that, you know, like, this guy's already in combat. These guys aren't. So you should be able to just make these guys move over here. Essentially, everyone just jumps down as long as they don't. But reading the rules, it seems like Steve would have to increase the unit's frontage by reducing the ranks and moving guys from back rank and adding on to here and go equally this way as well as that way. That's what it seems from reading the book. But I think we're just going to... I have never seen it played that way. I think what we're just going to do is just slide these guys down to reform. But if you have an answer for that question, I'd appreciate it. All right, so we just decided to slide his unit over less than six inches as, as opposed to expanding those ranks and uh, keeping the center the same and expanding ranks taking the ranks off and making this line longer. Um, but anyways, let us know. So, Steve's turn. Not much movement. This side of the board, he's not going to get these guys into combat by turn six anyway, so we'll leave this side of the board alone. And we're all about what's going on over here. So, no movement. We're on to magic. Okay. Cut Toothcracker off. These guys are plus one toughness. And that's... Four up regen. <laughs> on the hand hand. So Dwarf Lord whiffed. I didn't do any wounds on that unit, did I? No, no wounds on him. Because he's, he's only toughness 4 or strength 4. But he had a banner and a rank. I lose by 2. I needed an 8. I rolled boxcars. And then to run away, I rolled 5. And he caught me. And then he's going to fight this combat again. So he's going to evaporate them. Then on my turn, maybe I can get a grape shot and do nothing. <laughs> but I think when it's all said and done, Steve's got all the points. Because he'll have turn six to kill these to kill the cannon. I think I'm gonna have the gyrocopter survive and those rangers survive. Maybe that gyrocopter, but two two more rounds of combat. I definitely won't kill him. It's just a matter of time before he kills me. 
So we shook hands and my I lose big time again. I need to really figure out how to play this dwarf army. So thanks for watching everybody and comment on that reform. I appreciate it and we'll get back to you next time.